Nigerian Discs Joygi and uh, activist DJ Switch says the Nigerian government is a dictatorship with a democratic face. The popular Discs Joggy, who streamed live the shooting at the Lekki Toll Gate during the hashtag NCES protest, made this known on Wednesday, November the 18th, 2020, during a chat with the CNN's Christiana Amampo. According to her, the government has become a dictatorship headed by the people who arrest and prosecute and persecute innocent citizens. DJ Switch, while giving an account of what happened on that infamous night, said, describing herself as being lucky would be unfair on the side of those who didn't make it out of the protest grounds alive. She went on to reveal how her career as a disc juggy has been cut short because of the hard evidence against the government. My career is gone. All my bookings are gone. But I am happy that I have used my platform to do this. I don't want to run forever. I want to go back home. I don't care if they pick me when I get home, she said. She told the CNN journalist how the government has openly bullied and attacked some of the protesters since the protest by seizing their passports or illegally detaining them. The celebrity's interview is coming a month after several young Nigerians were killed by security operatives at the Lekki Toll Gate in Lagos. The young Nigerians were among the thousands of Nigerians who came out to protest against police brutality in the country. Mr. Femi Fani Kayode has criticized Lai Mohammed for threatening to sanction the CNN for exposing a massacre at Lekki Toll Gate. Femi Fani Kayode is a member of the opposition party and he is an ex-minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is a man that doesn't fear and talk sense to the government. The CNN has unraveled what happened at Lekki Toll Gate last month, where military men came and were found shooting at the peaceful protesters. The youths came out to protest against police brutality. It's a protest that many Nigerians didn't expect that youths can turn out for the protest. Many youths came out and protested against police brutality. They called for the end of SARS. Their voice was heard. The youths actually did Sorosuke. CNN brought their reports and they broadcasted it to the world. Ferry Fanikayode said Lai Mohammed was happy and loved CNN when they criticized Good Luck Jonathan's administration. But he is now unhappy when they unraveled what happened at the Lekki Toll Gate. Chief Ferry Fanikayode said CNN has convinced Nigerians that there was a massacre at the Lekki Toll Gate and Lai Mohammed is threatening to sanction them for doing so. He loved them in 2015 when they criticized Good Luck Ebele Jonathan and assisted in discrediting him and bringing him down. But he hates them for exposing and criticizing Buhari now. What a shame. Femi said it's a shame. CNN succeeded in bringing Good luck, Billy Jonathan, down, and they criticized him in 2015 and paved way for them to be in government. But now, but not happy now that the CNN has unraveled the mystery 
that happened here at the Lekki toll gate. The events that transpired at the Lekki toll gate till today remains fresh in the minds of Nigerians. And in as much as the state government, Lagos state government, has set up a panel to investigate, things took new turn yesterday after CNN did their investigation about what went down on the October 20th at the Lekki. From the video which was released online to Nigerians, it showed bullets that were fired that night was that of the Nigerian army as it, was, as it was purchased from Serbia and there was also reports of shots fired to the protesters. Since then, the, CN, the video has since gone viral and it was just a matter of time before the federal government reacted to the video released by the CNN. According to Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Information, while speaking to journalists today at Abuja, he described the lucky shooting of peaceful hashtag NSAS protesters as a bodiless and bloodless massacre. And a hoax massacre, insisting not a single body has been produced or a single family has come out to claim their family member that was killed at the Lekki toll gates. He also said the video released by CNN could end them a serious sanction for irresponsible reporting. But for technology and CNN, the deniers has been limited to limited and to an extent it has been proven that they, the people denying, actually had a hand in what happened at the Lekki Toll Gate on the 20th of October 2020. If you have seen the video posted by the CNN about the inv investigation of the Lekki incident, you probably did not see three things that I noticed and these things should be one of the key things that should be trending and not just the horror videos and pictures inserted into the investigative video. These are the three major things you probably missed and did not pay attention to. The CNN reporter, after the video and during the explanation of the video, stated that they had been they have been contacting the Nigerian authorities after making their findings, and that they have received no response. This means that they did not just finish their investigations yesterday. They finished scenes and we are waiting for the Nigerian government or authorities to make a comment or statement and to probably answer questions, but they did not. Therefore, the decision to release the video. Secondly, even when the Nigerian authorities refused to answer the CNN reporters' messages, calls and invitations, the CNN did not immediately release the video. They exercised patience and waited until yesterday to prove to the world that the Nigerian army actually fired at peaceful protesters with live ammunition that are meant for battles and wars. The kind that they use to fight terrorists and battles with enemies. The ammunition used were not regular bullets from small guns both ammunition, both ammunition imported from overseas over the years. The ammunition has allegedly been bought constantly from the year 2005 down to 2016, which probably was bought to fight the BH terrorists. The third most important thing to note in the video is that fact that nothing can actually be hidden again. If the satellite cameras could see all that happened at the Lekki Toll Gate, then it can actually see where the BH guys are and where they are hidden at the Sambisa forests and in other parts of the country. With such information, the authorities could target and destroy the BH terrorists for good and once and for all.
No excuses, no faults, just a total liberation from terrorism. And yes, there is a fourth observation. All the protesters contacted, those present at the scenes and those who had fled for safety purpose accepted their invitations, rushing their locations and faces, but the federal government and Nigerian authorities did not accept the invitations. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? Do you agree that Nigeria is a dictatorship uh, but wearing the face of a democracy? Well, let's know what your thoughts are. Draw up right at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.